Well, the international break was really, really fun, especially for us Canadian fans. But now the domestic season is back upon us, and in the Premier League, Brentford take on Chelsea in a really intriguing match. Chelsea in first place, of course, but the big story is Timo Werner. The man who couldn't hit a barn door for 10 feet out last season is now scoring goals once again. He scored last time out for Chelsea and then during the break scored two goals for Germany against North Macedonia. And not just two goals, two absolute worldies. He looks to be confident again and if he's back to his best, that means less pressure on Romelu Lukaku who so far has been pretty good but not great. Still a healthy and a confident Werner. Watch out the rest of the league. Brentford, meanwhile, of course, we know all about them, right? The story so far, sitting in seventh place thus far. They beat Arsenal at home. They drew Liverpool at home. They have been just a joy to watch. But at some point, it's going to come down to roost. And you know what? I think it'll be this weekend. Chelsea with a big win. 13th place Leicester hosts Manchester United sitting okay in 4th place but if you remember before the break they weren't playing great football winning just 2 of the past 6 and the pressure was really mounting on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Now the Ronaldo update is this, he played in the break of course for Portugal against Luxembourg. He scored 3 goals but you must wonder why don't you rest during these breaks? I know three goals looks great in the stat sheet, CR7, but I wonder about the fatigue at some point affecting him. His team, meanwhile, away from home, are really great, unbeaten in 29 games. Still, they're missing their top two defenders in Rafael Varane and Harry Maguire, which means Leicester and Brendan Rodgers must be thinking, Jamie Vardy, it could be your time to party once again. Rodgers, though, has been linked with Newcastle and even Man C this past week, so things aren't looking great at Leicester, lying in 13th place as I mentioned. Things have not been great, just two wins thus far. Still, I suspect Leicester are going to bounce back against a injury ravaged Man United. Let's go with a Leicester win in this one. Everton against West Ham, yes, a juicy Europa League battle, perhaps two teams playing really well to start the season, the Toffees in 5th place, West Ham not far back in ninth. and you do wonder, on Merseyside, in the blue half at least, has Rafa Benitez been accepted, his team's playing good football, they've won 4 games at home, just the one loss overall, despite several injuries, Rafa the Red is a distant memory. Everton with Rafa the Blue are the real deal, it seems. As are West Ham, despite a loss to Brentford last time out, still unbeaten in six away games, and Mikel Antonio did not go to World Cup qualifying with Jamaica, so he should be rested and looking to add to his five goals in six games so far. This would be a really good contest, a tight contest, and going with the draw. Hey, we had our first firing this past week. Cisco Munoz out at Watford, which is no surprise really because Watford love to fire coaches. But in comes Claudio Ranieri. Yeah, the tinker man of Leicester fame, the most likable man in world football, in world sport, maybe in the world. We love the tinker man, but this would be a tough job. Now, he does love counter-attacking football, which against the Reds, he'll have no choice to do because this team will be on the front foot from the opening whistle. Depth has been the story so far for the Reds beyond Mo Salah. It's much better than we thought and it'll be in display this weekend with Allison and Fabinho out. However, Trent Alexander-Arnold, one of the top fullbacks in world football, not named Alfonso Davies, is back. Yes, Reds with a big win, an emphatic win, but don't worry, Tinker Man, we still love you. It's a mid-table battle. Arsenal sitting in 11th place against 14th place Crystal Palace and Patrick Vieira back to his old stomping grounds. Vieira was an absolute legend at Arsenal. Three Premier League crowns, four FA Cup championships. He was the leader of one of the greatest teams we've ever seen in English football. And so far at Palace, He's doing a pretty good job. They are one of the surprise packages with four draws so far, not winning many games, but showing a real battling quality. We saw that last time out against Leicester. Down 2-0, they came back to tie 2-2. But they're playing the Gunners, who despite being in mid-table, are playing much better football these days. They're unbeaten in five games. have won four of those five games. Have scored just five goals so far, though. But that's about to change. I suspect it will be this weekend. Despite Palace being good defensively, despite Palace being such battlers, I think Arsenal will continue their fine form with a win.